Grab the other side and let's get in there. Okay, now, how do we turn this thing? Start it by finding a control room. train turned around. Need another pair of hands here. Looks like a control room to me. Now to access the controls. Pointed toward the hangar. Beautiful. All the 
what's left now is to get it back to the hangar. Oh, reckon that train's a step ahead of us. Oh, shit. Come on, we can catch up to it in the skiff. Close. Oh, yeah, it did. Come on. Let's just get back to the skip. No rest for the wicked people. Come on, Delta. Put him down. Coming in. Oh, <laughs> 
Watch it! Last one's down. We're good here. Good news, children. I don't know how you did it, but my scouts have just informed me that your rocket train safely entered the hangar. Glad to hear it, Paddock. That's the end of my good news. You have another task. Go secure the hammer's targeting beacons. Targeting beacons? What, for the hammer of dawn? Our system was based on targeting beacons. I was saving that info until we knew you could get the rocket. So where are these beacons? In the southwest, Cosmonaut Training Facility. And to be clear, if we don't secure those beacons, we don't have a hammer of dawn. Okay, we're on it. Anyone else surprised by the size of that rocket? It's massive! Uh, rockets are big. You know the ballistic coefficient you need to accommodate atmospheric drag? Uh, no, I don't. Well, it's high. That's the size. So, what's it like to know so much about stuff no one else cares about? Go ahead and abide in your ignorance, man. Not my problem. Glad we agree. Cheers! Reminds me of OCS, back in the Deadlands. Oh shit! Yeah, first time I ever had beetle soup. What's beetle soup? Well, you take some water, boil it, then toss in some beetles. Oh, so pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Yeah, it's protein. Your body doesn't know the difference. Honestly, I kind of liked it. That's probably why you're a captain. See what's going on with these trucks. I don't get it. Where the hell is it? Oh, that's not good. Ninun, Eki! Upon is the carnier! It's new stuck noon! In Durma Botoki! Okay, I I'm gonna assume they're in trouble here. Come on, Delta, let's head inside. What the hell's going on? Why aren't they engaging? Come on, let's get inside. Jack, look at that door. You know this is a trap, right? Oh, yeah. I'm well aware it's a trap. And here they come! Hunters! <laughs> okay, let's see what you got. This must be how they hit the nomads. Four men and then take them out. Oh, my God. 
Let's see what we can find. Looks like the Nomad's comm center. Who do we want it back for? Maybe they won't mind. something. Looks like old UIR radio tech. You want it? No, you want it. Find two more and you'll be able to boost Jack's hijack ability. Would have done it myself, but, you know, we were a little short on time. Oh, all right. We'll keep an eye out. We're done here. We should get back on track. Yeah. Delta, back to the skiff. Let's move it. Okay, now that we're all together, here's a question I've always wanted to ask. When you two went AWOL, did you miss me? Oh, uh, yeah, not really. Absolutely not. Hey, did either of these two talk about the handsome boys they trained with? Uh, well, they did mention this one arrogant, brutal asshole. Hey, did you know that guy too? No, but he sounds like a top bloke, honestly. <laughs> it's okay. I know you guys miss me.
Jen's gonna react when she figures out we're getting the hammer online. Again. Settlement 2 shifted her thinking a bit. Obviously, no thanks to me. Meanwhile, I often wonder who stuffed that gigantic stick up her ass. <laughs> Firm no comment from Captain Phoenix on that one. Paddock, Baird. We're heading into the training facility for the beacons. Good to know. We're standing by. I've been wondering, how the hell did all this UIR space program stuff not get out? I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple, when the COG also runs the newspapers. And historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? Secrets are easy to keep. Yeah. Well, guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The COG happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The COG? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Vescari. You, of all people, should know that. Okay, Paddock. We're here. Listen, during our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? I think it's in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby's security office. What if your bot sent out a pulse? Maybe that will show us the way to get in there. Jack, pulse. Guys, what if we sent Jack through that vent? Jack, see if that vent will get you to the security office. Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The center fuse building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Facility's activating, Delta. See? I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the center. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red condor out there. Yo, Bear, you lose a condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. Can't believe Baird secretly a gun runner. You're having trouble believing Baird did something covert? Really? Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. I haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. Between Paddock's Civil War and the weather, it crawled in anywhere. Put these assholes down. 
Shell spaces? How advanced was the UIR space program? <sighs> all right, so all the exits are blocked. Now what? Well, that didn't work. Right. Then we try another one. You got it. Well, let's hope this one holds. Jack, let's do it again. Huh! <laughs> 
Get in there, Jack. Get in there. This way. So, what's in here? DBs weren't corrupted. Come on, this way. those beacons. Let's check the security cameras. Well, look who it is. Oh shit, more of them. Guys, look. Beacons are tucked away in the capsule. Yeah, but how do we get them out? We could bring the arm around. There's a platform over there. Worth a shot. Jack, see what you can do. Uh, 
Thing still works. But it's not slowing down. Oi, boy! What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man! Jack's not a miracle worker! What about an emergency break? Well, there's some controls for base.
Beacons are okay. Come on. Jack, tell me the beacons are fine. Oh, thank God. Paddock, Baird, beacons are secure. They're also a hell of a lot bigger than I was expecting. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Ephira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll carry it to the skiff. <clears throat> well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. You know, if Paddock's sending folks out here, we should probably clear out the rest of the skiff. Awesome. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not gonna be much using a firefight at the moment. Thank you. Okay, let's go. JD, you good? Yeah, just lead the way. Well, storm's no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. We got swarm, people! Get behind those sandblast things! They're called Bumpery! Yeah, tomato, tomato! Jack, take him! <laughs>
door! And the door's open! Let's get our officers inside! Okay, skiff's not much farther. Yeah, easy for you to say. JD, how's the beacon? Not damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Fate of the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm's dying down. Yeah, now that we're through it. Come on, Delta. Let's get back to the skiff. You know something, Kate? You're pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah. By the way, you're good at it. When we're done sharing the corporate compliments, we should decide whether we're heading straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh, man. I'm saying it into my soul. Fortunately, it doesn't happen often. So there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the COG border? That's Gari technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. So are Paddock's nomads up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, they seem pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Baird trusts Paddock, we trust Baird. It's all about the transit of property, we trust Paddock's nomads. <sighs> the tr transitive, transitive what? Books, Faz. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. Now, honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads, so they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Works for me. 